Welcome back everyone. Uh, just got done hitting a workout. So what's one of Chef Bob's most famous post-workout meals? Well, simply, we're going to take what you've been seeing a lot of lately with my muffins, my breads and whatnot, and we're going to be making post-workout pan uh, protein pancakes today. Now when I was at the Arnold's, I was talking to Dan's, Dan's girl, Kate. She said she can make some mean protein pancakes. So Kate, I'm going to see what you really can make, or are made of, and hopefully sometime we can have a throwdown. But, um, while I'm just finishing up my gym session, I'll be sipping on my core BCAA right here in my Tiger Fitness shaker bottle. Why Tiger Fitness? Because Mark Loblinder, the guy who works at Tiger Fitness and helps shout out, sells a lot of Cellucor product. So we got to give my man some shout out. Also using it on his contest prep for his Napa Pro card this weekend with John Hol John Otis Hollywood. So need to buy some Cellucor stuff? You hit up my man Mark at TigerFitness.com. So that's where it's at. Other than that, let's get right to it. Um, today's recipe is going to be 675 calories, 45 grams of protein, 95 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of fat. You could knock that fat down a little bit, and you'll see how. First of all, I have the dry ingredients in our bowl right here. What would we use today? A little bit of ground cinnamon, just a touch. Uh, about one tablespoon of baking powder to help it rise. One serving of the sugar-free, fat-free Jello pudding mix. This helps with overall moisture and fluffiness in the final product. One cup of extra fluffy complete pancake mix. I get this from uh, Walmart. The complete is nice because all you have to do is add water only, but I add kind of a twist to all my recipes to help ensure that the final product is of quality. Two more things here. About a tablespoon of Splenda, give it a little bit of flavor, and of course, one scoop of the cinnamon swirl protein powder. Cinnamon swirl uh, comes out very good in the protein pancakes. One of my favorites next to the cookies and cream, which I believe is the number one flavor on the Coraway line. So that is our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients. I have about a half a cup of milk in here, and I also have a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt helps as a fat alternative instead of using oil, and helps with uh, being nice and moist in the inside. Okay? Then what else do we add? Oh, there's the almond milk that I used right there. Sorry about that. And what else did I put in there? A dash of vanilla extract. I'm going to add one whole egg. If you want to use another egg white, that's by all means you, and to help with your overall fat intake. Add the whole egg in there. Boom, done. Now, as you've seen in my other videos, I'm going to add a stiffened egg white. Now, why a stiffened egg white? Well, when stiffened to a firm peak, as you can see here, and on my spatula, how hard it is, how firm it is, this helps when folding it into the final mixture with overall moisture and also to help it rise to its, its peak level. So you'll see my pancakes, a lot of them when people cook with oatmeal, comes out really flat. These are really going to rise, really look puffy, and show a great final product. So we're going to add the rest of our wet here, which was the milk and the Greek yogurt to the whole egg, like so, and we're going to mix it up, got a blender here, And you can see the batter comes out pretty thick as is. And I'll show you, as you can see in the bowl there. So, we're going to fold in the egg white like you have seen. So we simply just take the egg white that is stiffened to a firm peak, place it in the bowl. As so. Then all you do, you go from the outside in, fold it, fold it in. I don't know how well you can see that, but... You simply go along the outside and just fold it in. Okay, I know it's a little bit higher up, but I want you to be able to see the cooking in the process. So after folding in the egg white, what we're going to do is some people cook in a skillet and some people cook on a flat top like this. I'm going to cook one on each. So that way you can see what the final product does look like. So we're going to cooking spray that down, and we're going to take the very thick batter, as you can see, 
and slowly just drop it in here. Alright? When we cook our pancakes, what are we going to look for? We're going to look for a little bit of bubbling on the top. Alright? So we're just going to let them sit for a minute. And as they cook, you'll be able to see actual little bubbles popping up on the top. That's when you know it's just about ready to flip. So we have our spatula here, and I have the camera up high enough, and I'll be able to pop this over for you. These should always be cooked on a medium power. Don't go to high, don't go to medium high. Always go to medium, because slower is better. The same can be said with a lot of other cooking principles that you will pick up over time. So while I sit here and keep talking, you can start to see here in our camera, they're, they're starting to be a little bit of bubbling on top. So we're just going to take our pan, slowly get underneath it, give it a quick flip of the wrist, and you can see it's got a nice little golden brown tint underneath it, which is exactly what we are looking for. So, mmm, the batter tastes freaking delicious. You can see it's starting to rise as we give it a little bit of time here. And after you flip it, it's not going to take very long. Sorry, that's starting to stick. But you can see just how much these are rising. Let me pull the camera over here for you guys. See exactly what I'm talking about? So these will actually rise quite a bit because of the folding of the egg white and also the sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix that we put in there. So with that said, it's not going to take much longer to finish up the final pancake. I just like to give it another couple 20 or 30 seconds on the other side once it has been flipped. And ladies and gentlemen, there's not much more to a protein pancake than that. So I'm going to use the rest of the batter, but as I am cooking these, some things I like to top them with, fat-free, uh, Cool Whip, it's only like 5 calories a serving, comes out great. A lot of you guys out there like lower calorie alternatives. Walton Farm Pancake Syrup, absolutely delicious. If you would like to as well, you can dice up a piece of fruit. Comes out great. But with that said, let's take two of these bad boys here. Boom. And boom. And that's just a little bit of our protein stack there. So overall protein pancakes in a bundle there. I'm going to use the rest and mouse them down post-workout. Other than that, Cellucor Nation, any request, um, let the guys at Cellucor know or hit me up on uh, Facebook, Twitter, B. Kupneski. Um, same with Instagram, B. Kupneski. You guys need anything, have a request, let me know. To everyone else at headquarters, keep doing your thing.